Hello everybody, it's Mario Hernandez from Media Current, and in this week's Learning Bits tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure VS Code with Xdebug, and this will be running on a DDEV environment, and primarily to be able to debug tweak templates. And so if you are a front-end developer or a Drupal themer, uh, and you would like to be able to debug tweak templates using Xdebug, this is something that could help you. I'm certainly not an expert at this, but I just want to give you the steps that I follow in order to get uh, Xdebug working with VS Code in a DDEV environment. So here I have a pretty vanilla Drupal 9 site running. Nothing special about it, just a brand new site. The only thing I've done is I installed and enabled the Devel module. So as we can see, we can have the Devel module now enabled. This will be required uh, in order to be able to debug our Twig templates. The next step I need to do is to enable Twig debugging in our environment. And we do that by going into our web directory of our Drupal site, sites. Inside default, you will see, a, most likely if you haven't done this already, you will see a file called default.services. Uh, what you need to do is you need to rename this file to just services and in this file, you will see a lot of configurations you can make uh, under around line 55 in this case. I have tweak config and I have set debugging to true. I also went ahead and set up auto uh, reload for the system and disable caching. So this will allow us to more properly debug our tweak code. That is the second step. The third step is to install a new extension that will allow us to run xdebug and VS Code, and that is PHP debug. I already went ahead and installed this extension, but this is the template that you will need if you want to be able to debug your code, whether it's Twig or PHP, and set up breakpoints. So uh, go ahead and install this extension. Most likely you will need to restart your VS Code once this extension is installed. When the extension uh, is installed, you will notice this new icon on your toolbar here. It says run debug. Uh, the first time you would, should see this message here, since you have not done any configurations to your VS Code, you have no debugging configurations in place. So what we need to do first is we need to create a launch JSON file. What this is, is a configuration file where you can set up the debugging parameters that you need to do in order to set up your debugging. I'm going to click here. And since I am in a Drupal 9 project, I have this workplace already in place right here. When I click create a launch JSON file, I'm asking, uh, I'm prompted to indicate which one I want to set it up for. So in this case, I'm going to use Drupal 9. That is the name of my workspace in VS Code. So yours may be different. And this is the configuration file. By default, uh, it should be empty, but there are some very basic configurations you need to add here. And you can add multiple configurations for different things here. If you look at DDEV's documentation, we can see that um, the step where we create a launch JSON file they have a pre-configured already snippet of code you can use, and you can safely copy this here. You can copy the snippet of code and overwrite the launch.json file with that code. The key configurations here are that you are using a PHP type configuration, and the IP address or the host name should be uh, what you see here, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. This will allow uh, VS Code to bind properly to the Docker uh, instance. And then port 9000 is what you should be using. The, as far as the path mappings, you should set it up to the workspace root, meaning that your VS Code workspace, in my case, Drupal 9, is what will be used as the default. Uh, this is a relative path rather than specifying a dynamic path. So this is pointing to the Docker instance and is using our VS Code workspace um, configuration here that we have in place. Save this file. 
The next step is to enable Xdebug. So DDEV comes already with uh, Xdebug already configured. And all you have to do is enable it. The way to enable it is if you run DDEV Xdebug on, and that'll tell you that Xdebug is enabled. If you want to turn it off, you will do off. If you run DDEVX debug status, that gives you also this status. Uh, if you want to find out whether uh, Xdebug is on or off, that's how you can find out. So let's turn it back on. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to clear my caches since I have made changes to the services that YAML file early on. Now, when I try to run a Drush command here, I'm getting an error, and I've seen this error before. And the reason I'm getting it is probably because I changed the configuration here of this launch.json file. So in order for these changes to take effect, I need to restart uh, VS Code. So let me restart VS Code now. The next step is let's get this ready to run. I'm going to close this page here. And I have my node display here. This is the template that I would like to be able to debug to determine what variables are available to me and be able to work with those variables. So one thing I need to do is in my theme, I'm going to look for my templates directory. And here I have a node template. That's the template that this page is using to render this page. So here, uh, with the help of the develop module that we enabled earlier, I'm going to set up what is called a breakpoint. Now, if you're not debugging Twig, if you're debugging PHP, you don't need to necessarily set up this breakpoint the way I've done it here. You can set up the breakpoint in a different way, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But with this breakpoint in place now, if I go to the debugging button, and I see the new configuration that I created, I can press the play button here to start debugging. Another option is to go to the run option here and start debugging. So uh, a couple ways you can do that. So I'm going to click here. And what you'll notice is you'll notice this little floating tooltip here that you see here that tells you that debugging is enabled, that it is on. So in order to be able to see the variables that this page provides on the content array, I'm going to uh, reload the page here real quick. I'm going to go Command R. And now we can see that uh, this debugging page came up and we can actually step through on the page. If you notice the page still loading, we can set up breakpoints. We can step through the breakpoints, right? Step through it. Uh, but what I'm interested in now is uh, under context, if I expand context, this is where I will be able to find all the variables that this node is providing to me. So if I expand context, and then from there I span content, I can see the fields, right? The fields that this node provides, and I'm able to grab that structure. I'm able to confirm the type of field, the value of the fields. And this is very important to me when I'm working on theming. Drupal sites, uh, especially if I'm using component-based development, I want to be able to grab the fields and match them to my components. So this allows me to do exactly that. So that is it as far as being able to debug your Twig templates. The key point, again, is to add this breakpoint on the template you wish to debug and then reload the page and you should be able to see your variables here. Now, if I wanted to debug Drupal in general, not necessarily Twig, but PHP code, the way to do that is you don't need this um, breakpoint on your template anymore. And what you need, I'm going to stop the debugger for now. What you will need is inside your site, if I collapse all of this, I will look for the index.php and in here I will set up a breakpoint. I don't think it really matters where, it all depends, but I'm going to click this area here 
So like a breakpoint right there. And then I will restart my debugger one more time. Okay, so this is waiting for me. Nothing else should be checked here for the breakpoints. I'm going to reload the page one more time. And now you can see that Drupal is starting to give me all the different things. Now the page is not going to fully load because it's waiting for us to step through through the debugger. As we step through, things will start to change as far as variables, as far as the code that you're um, you know, trying to debug here. And so, but this lets you navigate through your stepping through debugger and be able to debug the code that you want to debug. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.